John Moody here with us, former Time Bureau chief in Rome, also former Fox News executive. Uh, boy, why is the media not making a bigger deal of the fact that Vladimir Putin is ignoring everything we're doing? I think, Leland, that, that the media doesn't understand the combination of hatred, vitriolic hatred that Putin has for Ukraine and the dismissive attitude that he has for Western Europe. He thinks that the European Union and all the members of the European Union are, are fools. Fools because they, they don't know how to take care of their own countries. They don't know how to impose order on their citizens. Uh, and so the media gives Putin far too much credit for being a civilized ruler. Now, that scenario has fallen apart since the invasion of Ukraine, but amazingly, some of the European governments still think that they can deal with Putin and Russia on a equal basis and everything will work out in the end. This caught my eye last night uh, on CNN. Uh, they were talking about the new sanctions against Vladimir Putin's daughter. Uh, and one of the chirons, the things at the little bottom of the screen, pull it up here, said uh, that Vladimir Putin now uh, is being, there's, we're sanctioning Putin's daughters. That was the big thing. Uh, and missing from that is the fact check, uh, parentheses, and Vladimir Putin doesn't care. There, there's, there's, it's, we're lacking the context every time that President Biden does something and then the next words, it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly right. Uh, look, I mean, Vladimir Putin is not going to lose any sleep over his daughters not being able to go to New York and, and shop. Um, he doesn't even acknowledge these daughters. Uh, he's kept them at, at a great distance. The reason that the sanctions were imposed are not to hurt Vladimir Putin's feelings. He has stored a lot of his billions and billions of dollars with his relatives, including these daughters. So this is another way of reaching out and touching someone, as the old saying used to go. Uh, and they're going to use his daughters as a way to to cut off his funds, it's still not going to be anywhere close to sufficient to stop him, and he is still going to eat three square meals a day. Yeah, as we think about this, you've got the, the domestic politics in the United States, the domestic politics in Russia, and then how those two uh, relate. All, all politics are local. Uh, this is President Biden continuing to say Vladimir Putin will pay a price and that the price hikes in America that we're feeling are Putin's price hikes. Take a listen. Putin is an aggressor. He is the aggressor. And Putin must pay the price. And he would pay a heavy price. And there will be a lot to pay for that in, uh, down the road. They'll pay a stiff price immediately, near term, medium term, and long term if they do it. I've made it absolutely clear to President Putin markedly. He'll pay a terrible price. What is the danger on the world stage of the American president saying you'll pay a price and then not extracting a price that somebody cares about? Well, I mean, I think the remarkable thing is that he got that out in one go on, on each try. Um, he's, he's been known not to be able to do that. Um, look, the American president in this case is sort of a toothless tiger. He's made a lot of remarks and a war criminal and, and should have a war, cr tr war crimes trial, et cetera. What does it matter to Vladimir Putin? I mean, he is firmly in control of his country. He has, he has attacked a country next door to him that he hates. I mean, he viscerally hates the Ukraine. And he's essentially, although his troops have been repulsed in Kiev and, and the western part of the country, he is essentially getting what he wants, which is the very coal and mineral laden Donbass and Luhansk. Yeah. And he's going to keep that, and he's going to get a path all the way to the Black Sea through Crimea. He's yeah. going to win the war that he wants to win. Yeah, the one, the one question going forward, um, and we'll get to this next time, is whether the American people will continue paying the price we are. $5,200 more per year on average than we all paid last year for things. Uh, John, always good to see you. We appreciate it. Thank you. I wish we had more time. I, I had to get... Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.